Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're doing a really interesting video and I've been waiting to do this for ages. Today in our five minute Friday, which basically we cover a tip topic or technique within five minutes, we're gonna be putting the A92's IAF with animals to the test. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Jessica McGovern, international multi-award winning portrait photographer. I'm known mostly for things with dogs, but I do shoot other things as well. And today we're here in Allathorpe in really bad photography weather, sunshine, to do this test. And I'm really, really excited about it. So we're shooting with an A92 and a Sony 70-200 2.8GM lens, the Mark I version, not the brand new Mark II version, but we should be able to get a pretty good vibe for how well the IAF works. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record my screen with a little screen recorder. We've got a dog today. We're gonna use Alfie because he's got such a dark face. It should make it a little bit more of a test for the camera and the lens to work out. We do also have the Sony 135GM lens, which is much, much, much faster for actual than this lens is, but we're not planning on doing a lot of action. I'm just basically gonna set up tricky situations for the camera and see if it does a good job. So first thing that we need to do with this is we need to set up our kit. Okie dokie, so the first thing that we need to do is look at our settings. I'm gonna just get my quick settings up here because I much prefer them. Now, I'm gonna use auto ISO today so we don't worry about the exposure of stuff. If that gets tricky with the sun, I'll drop it into manual. But we're gonna be setting our focus area for this test to wide. So it's gonna have the entire scene to look through for a subject. And let's not forget that we're on people for our subject detection. So we're gonna change the AF to look for animals, not people. So with those bits and pieces all set up, normal portrait settings are in action. I can see my histogram on the screen. I'm not going to pay too much attention to it, to be quite honest. But what we're looking for is that little green box, grabbing the subject in a tricky situation, grabbing the eye if physically possible, and if the subject is close enough, and capturing that shot. Now, situations where IAF on autofocus in general struggle is super, super, super harsh backlight with a really contrasty subject, really, really contrasty situation and also low light. So there will go some kind of messy places here today, but it is quite sunny, so it shouldn't do too badly. But based on my experience with the Sony a7R III, I'm expecting a much better response with this camera based on what I've experienced since. So I wouldn't be able to shoot a subject, a dog with wide with the Sony a7R III because it wasn't reliable enough. So we'll see if this makes a difference. Right, let's get ourselves a model and get stuck in. So we've got Alf, we've got our super bright sunny weather. Let's go and test this AF. Let's just do a simple track shot first. Alfie, come. Perfect. Move some bits and pieces. Okay, so what I'm expecting with this, guys, if you can see through my screen, is that as soon as I kind of like lift this up, I wanted to grab him and also grab the focus. So I'm gonna get into a more flat position. There we go, a more flat position. And I'm looking for a pretty immediate focus grab, so you can kind of see him. I'm gonna zoom in. So, if I centralize him, thinking of composition, and I press AF on, we want it to grab him. Now, it's super dark, so I'm just gonna nudge my exposure compensation to help the camera. Do you see that? Do you see the difference there? So if it's too dark for the camera to kind of recognize that there's a subject there, it's gonna struggle. But if you can get a little bit of light in that eye, then the AF will clock on. So that was actually a really, really good test. As you can see, it's super sunny and not so good, but you can see that if we have enough light on the eye, we can grab it. If we're further away, we've still got it. Do we have it if we come back? Struggling, struggling a little bit to get it from further away. So you do need to be close enough for it to grab. And there we go, you can see it. Uh, he's looking fantastic, absolutely adorable. I'm gonna grab a shot of that exposure and then bring it down so that I've got some of those highlights if I did want to use this shot for anything. And he looks super cute, super, super, super cute. Awesome, okay. Okay, go. So let's do a bit more of a difficult test because straight line track shorts are easy. Look at me, look at the state of me. Horrendous. Uh, let's make it harder. Wait. So I've got him hid in the ferns. I've got a fair amount in the mid-ground with him. And bring my exposure compensation back. Maybe move back a little bit. I'm gonna shoot over that leaf, so I'm gonna step right in front of you. 
and I'm wanting it to grab his eye. And you see, we're like, no, we want the fern, we want the fern, where's the subject? There it is. So you need to have a little bit of that pre-focus. Now for me, much easier way of shooting this shot would be to have single point focus and move it to help us out. Because at the moment I'm missing shots, right? That's why I use my single point. But if your lighting conditions are favorable or you can grab that composition in a way that works, you can make the shot work. Ready? Good lad. Okay. Oh, hit me. Hit me. <coughs> And looking back at that, you can see that the IAF worked perfectly because we're super sharp in all the right places. Right, up in the ante. Go, 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 go. Okay, so my next shot's gonna be with his little pawsies up on this little stump. So I'm just gonna move some fern so that he doesn't get hit in the face because that's not nice for anybody struggling. It's just grabbing that um, reed that's coming over. There we go, now we've got the eye. So a little bit of a trick there is if we are struggling, then Go ahead and just give it a wiggle and see if it'll grab back. But for me, that's too much time wasted. I've probably missed the shot by now. It's not worth that kind of a delay. And I also need to underexpose a little bit to be able to get these highlights. Good boy waiting. That little bit of grass over his face is less great. I'd probably go and take that out if it was, you know, just me shooting. But not so bad with the with the autofocus there. So if it, if it grabs something, you might have to go and help it. So I'm just gonna put AF on, AF on, AF on. <laughs> Waiting, wiggle, waiting, there we go. So, again, and it's got him. So it's only if you kind of close vegetation, different focal plane, you need it to grab something further back and then you can kind of grab. But even then it's on the grass, it's not on him, it's not on him. Need more light, need more light, no, it's still no. I'm trying to get closer. There we go, got there in the end. But that was painful for me. <laughs> okay. So that actually struggled a lot more than I thought it was going to. And for me, it just shows that I really want to be using my flexible spot on a small, medium or large over a wide with the IAF enabled because I, at that point I'm missing shots and I can't afford to miss that many shots. It's just a waste of my time. So uh, I'm based on that performance. I'm going to definitely be continuing with my single spot method, but we'll try one more shot and see if it can win me over. So I'm just going to put Alf round and in, see if we can get him to hold in there. Get two coming right up at his chin, which is less good. AF on, she's getting the fern. AF on, still getting the fern. There it is. Too slow for me. Way, 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 way too slow. So ready? Ready? It's just got his eyebrow, which isn't even his eye. Trying to get it to get something else. No, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. So yeah, for me, good boy Alfie Wade, it's definitely gonna be flexible spot or medium is a much better option, personally. So you can say, actually, excuse me, even if we focus here, can we look inside this square instead? Oh look, there we go. Okay. Good lad, good catch. I feel like my test maybe isn't particularly conclusive. It definitely wasn't scientific, but it is definitely real world. This is the kind of stuff that I deal with on a shoot in the woods. So if for me personally, it can't handle it, that doesn't mean that for you it can't handle it. Maybe it can. Maybe IAF will be absolutely fine. But for me, I'm gonna stick with IAF on, but only when I tell it where to look for the eye, not with an entire screen. So that's my thoughts on this. Have you guys had a try of this? Have you tested it on any of the mirrorless cameras that have? Eye detection because I'd be really interested to know your thoughts on this and whether you use wide or one of the area zones to help your camera look for the eye a little bit better. Let me know down in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. See you guys really, really soon.